The state government says it won't bring back indoor mask mandates, even though COVID cases are on the rise again. Infections are expected to double in New South Wales over the next month, but isolation requirements for close contacts are likely to be removed soon, with the Prime Minister calling the rules redundant. New South Wales may be sailing towards a new wave of cases, but don't expect mask mandates or restrictions to ramp up. We are certainly suffering as a society from regulation fatigue. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and I think um, we need to also take into consideration the ability for us to, um, uh, to enforce any of these regulations. There's a push to wind back isolation rules for close contacts. National Cabinet has agreed on scrapping them in the coming months. That rule is, is becoming, we believe as leaders, redundant. We'd like to say goodbye to that rule as quickly as we can. That's all as COVID cases trend up. There were nearly 13,000 today, up from 10,000 a week ago. And there's a new, more contagious sub-variant at play. We need to both be ready for another wave of COVID-19, but also take steps as a community to try and minimise that. It seems the state government and New South Wales Health aren't on the same page, with reports health authorities have told the Minister restrictions are needed. If New South Wales Health is telling you to introduce masks again indoors, do it today. The government's critics say the department's advice should be made public. It's not secret information. It hasn't been generated by the CIA. It's the Department of Health, for goodness sake. We should have access to it because it's now up to individuals to make informed choices. Things like wearing a mask, like washing their hands all the time, keeping 1.5 metres away. Like, how difficult are those things to do? Let's see how things develop before winter sets in, but I think the restrictions are enough for the moment. Rather than focusing on reintroducing restrictions, the government's made it clear its priority is addressing the slow uptake of booster shots. Just six months ago, Sydney Olympic Park was a hive of vaccination activity. Today, it's quiet. Only about one in two people have had a third shot. Phoebe Bowden, ABC News, Sydney.